Hi, I'm Miriam, and this is Afghan Cooks. And we call it that because I'm an Afghan and I cook. We didn't have anyone more clever to come up with a name for this show. But today we're going to do a real Afghan classic, which is lamb kebab. And we're gonna do it on skewers. Now, we're starting this tonight. It's dark out. It's almost seven o'clock. We're gonna put it in the fridge once it's all done marinating and we're gonna leave it there overnight. So plan ahead. Now what you're gonna need for this particular recipe, this lamb kebab recipe is, what we have here is lamb, of course, and I've got two kinds of lamb for you here. This is the T-bone I had the halal butcher cut this up for me. It's so beautiful and tender. You can see it's got that bone that runs right through it, some beautiful marbling in it. If you don't have a halal butcher who's gonna cut up your lamb for you, that's fine. I got this boneless leg of lamb from Trader Joe's. We're gonna cut this up into cubes and we're gonna marinate them both together. One jalapeno, a bunch of cilantro here, a couple of lemons, kiwi, kiwi, kiwi is key, get it? I have an onion here, but we're not gonna use the onion. We're gonna use onion juice. Let me show you the onion juice. And we're gonna show you how to make this onion juice as we go through this video. I've got some vinegar, any kind that you want is fine. I've got white wine vinegar here, a little bit of oil, that's avocado oil. Yogurt, you can use it or not. I'm only gonna use like a tablespoonful, so it doesn't really matter. And my go-to ginger garlic paste, salt, pepper, and here's my handy dandy spice container with paprika, Aleppo pepper, char masala. We've got a video for that too. You definitely would like some of that. It adds like a good, real Afghan flavor to it. Although it's technically used for rice only, we're gonna mix it up here a little bit. Some coriander. This is za'atar, which is actually not Afghan at all, but I kind of like it. It's got sesame seeds, oregano. This is ground cumin and of course turmeric. You guys know how this goes, right? The first thing I'm gonna do is make my onion juice. We're gonna take this onion and it's going to magically become... There you go. Woo! Today, we're gonna make some onion juice. What do you use onion juice for? Marinades. All kinds of marinades, beef, chicken, lamb. We're gonna be using this in our lamb marinade. And now we're gonna put them in the food processor. It's 30 seconds. You gotta take your pulverized onions with the back of a spoon or a spatula. Get all that good onion juice. You can add this to any marinade to help you break down your meat. Drink your onion juice. It makes you big and strong like Popeye. <coughs> I have my food processor here so I don't have to chop everything up. Got a knife. I'm gonna give a quick chop. And you know you can use the stems of cilantro. God, that smells so good. It smells like childhood. That is very spicy. I'm only going to use half of it. And now the secret ingredient, kiwi. If only I knew what to do with it. Is this how you cut a kiwi? Add one kiwi. Use your lemon squeezer so you don't get seeds in it. Just FYI. This is actually my mother's marinade. Um, for all of our parties, Eid, Thanksgiving, what have you. She does the lamb kebab because her lamb kebab is to die for. I'm telling you, it's no joke, okay? She makes a lamb kebab that can make you eat your fingers. Like you will eat it and you're like, uh, why is it over? I'm gonna add a nice heaping teaspoon of the already pulverized ginger garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of this avocado oil, about a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of vinegar. Bring my onion juice. We're gonna add this into our onion juice. 
I'm going to use one tablespoon. We're going to use a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of cumin, and these are freshly ground seeds if you couldn't tell. That's why they look a little rough. A teaspoon of my chaat masala. So chaat masala, which means four spices, is cumin, black cardamom, cinnamon, and clove. We're gonna add a teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of za'atar. I'm gonna see if I got a teaspoon of this paprika in here. A teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna crack some black pepper into this. I put on a glove so that I could be hygienic. Also, it's kind of gross to touch it. It's actually not gross, it doesn't bother me. We want all of this good marinade all over this meat, okay? Really work that in there. In the morning, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna, and girls and people generally, all of you humans, I'm going to mix it around again so that the stuff on the bottom gets to the top and then cover it again and then put it back in the, and then I'm going to take it out an hour before I'm ready to put it on a skewer. Salam alaikum. Dweer dizi kiri siri ji. Ma baid purun dashan kiri wai. Aga purun wanusu akhtas walama. Hi. I don't know if you can hear the birds. It's a beautiful fall day. We have a fire uh, with charcoal and wood right here. The coals are not burned down yet, but we're going to go ahead and start with our lamb, which is over here on skewers. We're gonna put our kebab. You can buy these skewers. Well, we can buy them at any Afghan Persian grocery. Throw the rest of that sauce on there. So I'm going to close this. Should we open this? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up this and then we're going to put it on this very challah-like auntie lake platter, put the kebab on it, and then get the tomatoes and the onions that I've already cut up to eat with all of this. So we just put the bread, the naan, on top of the meat just to heat up a little bit. Here we have our lamb kebab. I put the onions in, you know what, salt water so that they get rid of some of that bitterness. Um, some sliced tomatoes, cilantro. On our table in there, we have our yogurt sauce and our tomato chutney and some green chutney and some hot sauces and all kinds of delicious stuff. And what's really great is this bread absorbs the fat and the juices from the meat when we eat it. I suggest you subscribe to this channel, suggest that you leave a comment let me know if you make one of these recipes. I get so excited when I see that someone has tried a recipe and it's turned out well, or you've added your own twist to it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>